Welcome to Aboriginal Art in America, a podcast where each week we spend a few minutes with a work by an Indigenous Australian artist. This week we're introducing a new project. In collaboration with UVA Press, the Klugiru has released a catalogue of their current exhibit, honouring 50 years of the Papanya Tula artists. Here's curator Henry Skerritt. 300 pages long and it's full of so many amazing pictures, photos that people have never seen before, but also so many glorious artworks from our collection and from some really important American collections. It's been so much fun to work on. It even has an essay in it by Steve Martin, as well as great scholars, indigenous artists, indigenous curators, anthropologists, art historians. It's like, it's something for everybody. The Papanya Tula artists were a group of Aboriginal creators working in the central desert of Australia beginning in 1972. Papanya was a government settlement founded in 1959 that displaced several groups of Australian desert people from their native lands and relocated them to the Northern Territory of Australia. The intermixing of these native groups drew out a series of artworks that express the individuality and unique identities of the Australian Aboriginal people. Henry Skerritt says the catalog provides a closer look at the history and legacy of the Papanya Tula art movement. Yeah, there are loads of interviews with artists, but also with descendants from the first generation of painters. And that's so beautiful because we hear so many, you know, art historians and historians waxing on about the start of the Papanya Tula art movement. But it's so great to hear what, you know, the children of those artists thought of the movement and how it's affected their lives and how these works continue to be really important to them. Uh, And that's been great because I think quite often, you know, people talk about Aboriginal art traveling the world and have no idea that the children and grandchildren of the original artists, but also the artists today, they're, they're following all this. They're following it on Instagram and Facebook. And, and so, you know, we wanted to make a book that was a, a celebration for everyone. There's a great little essay in it by Bobby West, whose father, Freddie West, was one of the founding artists, and his essay is titled A Really Good Celebration. And he says, you know, that this this is the time, 50 years, where we should just look back and think, you know, how great Papanya Tula has been, that it's never failed, and it's kept, you know, doing great things for the community. So, you know, we all tell, like, art stories, or 50 years of art, but this is a story about... 50 years of social engagement. It's a story about 50 years of economic empowerment. It's a story about people taking control of their own representation. And it's just, this book makes me very happy because it's about this great, wonderful story of cultural survival, resilience, and, um, and, and, and agency. So currently on exhibition is just the first 25 years, right? So is the catalog for all 50 or first half? Yeah, that's right. So the catalogue is actually for the whole 50 fabulous years of Papanya Tula. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons why we kind of staggered the release of it because so that we'd get it out towards the end of the year and early next year we'll have part two. So um, those of you who've come and seen the first half of the exhibition can come and get the catalogue and read, uh, you know, all about the works you've seen, but also get a glimpse of those that are coming up in the next part, which is... Um, pretty exciting and amongst those is something i'm really excited about a brand new commission of 50 artworks 50 artworks 50 years <laughs> from all of the new contemporary current artists at papanya tula and it is stunning they all come together uh, and and produce you know it's going to be like a whole wall with 50 of these works and just to kind of just to celebrate the fact that you know, it's a movement that's not in the past. It's a movement that's still going. And I love the fact that, you know, there'll be paintings in the exhibition and in the catalogue that are, you know, fresh. You probably can still smell the paint on them. To hear more about the Kluge Ruse Papanya Tula exhibit, you can check out previous episodes of Aboriginal Art in America. To pick up the new catalog, you can visit UVA Press's website or check out your local bookstore. 
Aboriginal Art is a production of University of Virginia and a member of the Virginia Audio Collective. Listen and subscribe at virginiaaudio.org.